Well, time now for a look at what else happened in politics today. Starting in Montreal, where India's High Commissioner smoked today, noting that the relationship between Canada and India has many positives and that there are discussions happening behind closed doors to address current tensions. But he, like New Delhi, is concerned about debates happening in this country that would affect the future of his. My concern is national security, threats emanating from the land of Canada. These threats are largely emanating from the Canadian citizens. So these two are my red lines. We are ready to sit down on the table any day and we are doing that and we are trying to resolve this issue. The High Commissioner's remarks come just days after the arrests of three Indian nationals, all of whom are charged in the murder of Sikh activist Hardeep Singh Najjar. Canada believes that agents of the Indian government were involved in Najjar's killing. In Ottawa, Senator Kim Pate and MP Leah Gazan spoke on the Hill this morning. They're calling on the government to develop a framework for a guaranteed livable basic income for Canadians. They say the program is needed to address poverty and the other societal issues it creates, including violence. We know currently in the country our social safety net is not looking after people. We need to take radical action if we want to eradicate poverty. And we know there's a direct correlation between poverty and violence. Gazan and Pate are pursuing legislation in both the Commons and the Senate. And politicians and Christian faith leaders gathered at the Shaw Centre this morning for the National Prayer Breakfast in Ottawa. The annual event, officially sanctioned by the speakers of the House and the Senate, aims to build non-partisan relationships through a shared faith in God. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Conservative leader Pierre Polyev were both in attendance.